Hey, what's up guys? Danny AR here. And uh, this could be a little video. Uh, it's a little different from what I normally do. Uh, I posted on Twitter not too long ago today that I was going to be unboxing a, uh, an airsoft rifle. I've been playing airsoft for a few months now and have kind of put together a nice little collection of guns. And this is going to be the actual first unboxing uh, that I do of one. Uh, the other two I have, I'll show them on video and uh, maybe down the road, but this is just going to be to unbox a new one that I just got. And this is actually from Airsoft GI. It is the, uh, their custom line of uh, G4s, which is uh, basically GNG uh, weapons modified by Airsoft GI to include, you know, better quality internal parts, external parts, you know, more modified weapons. This is the G4A5, the DMR. Uh, they have a coupon code right now, which you get 15% off of anything, uh, I think through the end of uh, Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it real quick, show you guys what it comes with, how it looks. I think the box actually just slides right out. Uh, don't think it actually has to be open. They use like a custom packaging, just a regular box with a piece of paper that says G4A5 on it. So there's the actual gun itself in the packaging. Uh, it actually is a modified M4 with an M16 barrel. Uh, comes with a 450 round high cap magazine. There it is. Here's the gun itself. Very nice gun. Very durable looking. Does have a metal RIS system. Looks like it has a gas uh, gas nozzle, or it's called a gas chamber. Uh, on top of that, it has the uh, crane stock in the back. Battery can go in the bear in the back. It's been modified, wired to the crane. Uh, you do have sling rails or sling mounts here. Down the side, it's like a little icon, little symbol. Other side, it says GI. It is a blowback weapon, so it does have, you know, the working actual system where you can actually pull this back, pulls it right open. It says infidel, and then I think that also says infidel, but like an Islamic or whatever. It does have a flip-up sight in the front and the in the back. Flip-up sight in the back. I actually have a, a uh, sight that I ordered from Amazon that I use that for this so there's the flip up sight in the back with the one in the front open you can go ahead and flip that down and flip this one down in the back I'll leave that one up it does have a little mechanism right there that will actually grab onto the uh, flip back sight you actually have to pull it back and lock it down in place you have your spring release which actually is working to decompress your spring after every use uh, crane stock, you know, does fold in and out. I think it's a uh, six position crane stock. I'm gonna probably leave it like this down because I like to use it, you know, as like an M4. So it's not too long. It is a pretty long gun. Uh, does have also a flash hider. Comes with a yellow orange tape, uh, which you can take off, and it is a regular black flash hider. It doesn't come with an orange one like most guns do. But you can go ahead and peel that off and. It's going to be my DMR. I'm going to put the scope on it, mount it on it for long range, and there it is. Real nice gun. Semi-auto safe. And I'm going to do some modifications to this and see how it shoots. I'm going to chrono it in a, in a video that's coming soon so you guys can see how hard it's shooting. But it is supposed to be coming shooting uh, 400 out of the box or over 400 out of the box. So thanks again, guys, for watching the video. Stay tuned for some more Airsoft-related uh, videos that I'll be putting up hopefully over the next few days. And once again, thanks for watching. Danny AR10 signing out.